The Nothing Phone 1 coming out was all the rage, as our founders definitely know how to stir things up when it comes to marketing their product. A beautiful design that reminded many people of the iPhone, this mobile device definitely looked premium when we first watched footage from its first event. It was a short wait and we now have it in our hands, along with plenty of footage taken from one of the most beautiful parts of our city. Accompanying the Nothing will be something, which in this case is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Is this phone a flagship killer like the OnePlus was when it was first released, or will it fade away into nothing? If camera comparisons are your thing and you want to stick around, hit those like and subscribe buttons and join our crew. Also, a huge thanks to Basics Beyond for sponsoring this video. It's a nice shirt, right? Actually, it's a lot more than that and you'll see what I'm talking about later on in the video. Let the facts speak. First impression, I like the camera of this phone when I take its price into consideration. It's important to remember that this is a mid-range phone and not a flagship, so we're not expecting the footage to be flawless. Usually, budget and mid-range phones tend to go for aggressive sharpness to cover up the lesser quality, but it's the exact opposite on a Nothing Phone 1 as the images are softer in contrast to the other two, which does result in a slight loss of detail. There's also an inconsistency that I've noticed in the Nothing, and that's the photo being from time to time darker and sometimes brighter than it needs to be. I guess what I just mentioned is kind of the main issue of it being a mid-range phone, but even then I do believe that this is a good performance. Nothing much to complain about the 13 Pro Max and the S22 Ultra, as these two have been present in many of our camera comparisons and are known to put out similar quality results with just some differences in contrast. As you know, contrast makes the dark parts darker and the bright parts even brighter. The S22 Ultra is one of the best phones out there to explain this example, as you can see in this photo. Even though it's a small detail, I think it's necessary to mention this for all of you out there that don't know the specific nuances of how these phone cameras operate. Take a look at the wall on top of the frame and you'll notice how contrast eats into details and parts of photos that are bright. While it doesn't make a big difference in this photo, it can sometimes cause issues in others. Now you might be thinking, if this is the case, why is the iPhone even darker than the Galaxy here? The reason is, iPhones have an interesting interaction with statues and figures. Don't really have a clue why, but in my experience, pretty much every photo of a statue had great colors on the iPhone, regardless of it being darker or brighter. The Nothing Phone 1 is falling a bit behind though, as it's just way too bright in this photo, and it will most likely continue to fall behind when we switch to the ultra-wide camera, because unless a phone is an expensive flagship, you're not very likely to get high quality besides the main lens. The TV tower looks quite pixelated in this circumstance, and the trees are very sharp which makes them lose their natural look. Same issues in the next photo as I don't think I need to explain to you the differences anymore as you are more than capable of looking at the three and seeing why the Nothing Phone 1 is ultra wide camera isn't good enough. Even in general photos of the scenery where you won't as easily notice these issues, the footage doesn't look as colorful as the other two. In conclusion, Apple and Samsung will be tied here with nothing being a step behind them, with an honorary mention going to the iPhone because their photos are overall brighter with more detail, meaning it's actually easier to edit their photos when compared to the Galaxy. Oh wait, I forgot one photo. Here's me, looking at a water balloon, also an ultra wide. The way this is going though, I feel like I'm gonna be extremely wet soon. Don't ask me why. Luckily for me, these balloons seem to be really strong, so I was able to remain dry during the first section of the slow motion comparison. Then, for some reason, I changed my mind and decided I did want to get wet because I had so much trust in my liquid proof t-shirt that was gifted to me by Basics Beyond. Check out how the water is just rolling off me like magic because this t-shirt is actually water and stain proof. If you're just chilling with your friends and forget where your mouth is like sometimes I do, you'll be very very relieved to know that your clothes are safe and you won't look like an idiot walking up to a girl and asking her out with coca cola stains all over you. I actually didn't know something like this existed and I surely would have bought one if I did know because I'm kinda clumsy and it's not uncommon for me to spill stuff over myself while I'm eating. Because this product is designed to keep stains out, it also means that you'll have an easier time throwing it in the washing machine even in the worst situations because it's gonna be much more durable than a regular t-shirt. We have a promo code for you in the form of verses and you can also see it in the description along with the link to their website where you can purchase one of their fine t-shirts. For now, I'll be giving out the points for slow motion while we watch the 960 FPS footage of Samsung making a difference. It is in great quality because they upscale their 480 FPS to 960 with software, but it's still usable and pretty useful for fast moving objects. Gold for Samsung, 
Silver for Apple and Bronze for Nothing will bring us to the portrait photos of these three phones. Since our average viewer knows how the iPhone and the Galaxy operate, everyone's eyes will be on the Nothing phone because I'm sure we're all curious about the final touches they made to their software. Even some flagships have trouble in the portrait department, so consider me impressed because the photos look actually decent. I would have appreciated if there was a bit more color, a bit more life in their photos, but honestly, it's genuinely cool that there aren't major errors which is what I expected at the beginning. While I am a Samsung fan when it comes to edge detection because the S22 Ultra often makes less mistakes than the 13 Pro Max in our comparisons, Apple has kind of written the golden rules for this category. Their photos often just end up looking the most accurate in terms of color and are able to best represent me, as Samsung's newest flagship has a habit of sometimes adding on these red and orange tones to their portraits. When combined with the fact that their software's understanding of contrast is to pour some on top rather than giving it a little sprinkle, there are instances where I'm not happy with the end result. Portrait selfies are where Apple and Samsung overtake nothing in a more obvious way because once again as a reminder guys, mid-range phones and front cameras aren't always the best friends. It did get quite close at a certain point, but I'm really liking the performance of Apple with regard to portrait photography and they'll be the undisputed number one if they manage to tweak their algorithm a bit more to remove the mistakes. Samsung will take second here and nothing will come in third with a good performance nevertheless. Now it's time for a quick zoom recap and we'll be moving on to video after that. The Nothing Phone 1 doesn't have an optical zoom which isn't surprising considering it's less than half the price of an iPhone which has a 3x optical zoom as well as the Galaxy but it just happens to have an extra 10x optical zoom so this is kind of a no brainer. The iPhone isn't usually a phone that we get good results with but I'm pleasantly surprised to learn that if what you're zooming into doesn't have many details the software actually sees and understands it pretty well. We scaled the 15x max zoom of the iPhone and the 20 of the Nothing phone to match the Galaxy S22 Ultra for an accurate representation and it will be obvious that Samsung is once again wearing the crown for the king of zoom. Apple will take second with Nothing coming third and video is gonna be a blast because right off the bat the one in the middle actually looks better than both the big flagships. While that did give me quite the surprise, I quickly noticed a big problem with the Nothing phone one's footage it just keeps vibrating. The stabilization software obviously isn't up to par, so even though the quality looks really good, even better than the iPhone in some videos, the huge inconsistencies and vibrations are really disappointing. The S22 Ultra with the Exynos chipset is once again not up to par with the 13 Pro Max, as I personally don't think the videos are sharp and focused enough to be considered at a premium level, but still better than the nothing phone due to the software. Let's get stabilization on the screen so I can explain myself even better. Like, what are these extreme vibrations guys? It's way too much, which is really sad because the video quality is actually really good. When I start running, it gets even worse as there's no way to use this footage, so naturally, they'll come in third while Samsung's activatable super stable is a step ahead of Apple's embedded stabilization. In the meantime, the front or rather selfie camera is equally important for influencers and vloggers so it's worth looking at the autofocus powered selfie cam of the S22 Ultra. Well, it seems that the inconsistent software has shot us in the foot once again since this isn't the first time I'm seeing this issue. When it works, there's no doubt that it takes the best photos but at least it shows off while shooting a video as the footage is easily better than the other two. The Nothing Phone software blows out the sky as soon as we enter the frame but that's kind of what you expect from a mid-range with the front camera in mind. The big boys will be tied for first because Apple takes photos while Samsung takes videos, but that's about to change in the macro category. The S22 Ultra has, as I've mentioned before, an amazing algorithm for its macro shots, but the 13 Pro Max is just a tiny bit better, so I'm really curious to see how their next models will perform. Nothing has put in a macro mode for their new phone, but it just doesn't work really well, which is unfortunate. It does get a nice photo off, but that's about it, so it'll be 3 for Apple, 2 for Samsung, and 1 for Nothing, with autofocus coming up next. I hope you guys like our new autofocus method as we believe my face is more entertaining than a banana. At least I hope. Well, nothing seems to have done something right here as the focus snaps onto me as soon as it can, even a tiny bit faster than the iPhone. I slow down the video and watch it frame by frame so you can do the same to reach your own conclusion but I'd say Samsung and nothing are tied here with Apple being ever so slightly behind in this category. We are back doing some camera testing once again and it's time to test out the microphones of these phones. In the middle is the brand new Nothing Phone 1. We were finally able to get our hands on it and now we're putting it through some tests. On the right is known as the king of Android, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, an amazing camera phone. And on the left is the Apple's pride and joy, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 
let us know in the comments which one you like the most. Even though the S22 Ultra cuts out the background noise a bit better than the 13 Pro Max, the quality difference is apparent with the iPhone being crisp like a box of Pringles. It seems nothing put its attention elsewhere, as a nothing phone one's mic can't compare against its competition, leaving it with the bronze medal. Now, it's time to turn the lights off. I'll just say it now, I wasn't impressed with the S22 Ultra's performance in this comparison. From having a stronger yellow tint than the iPhone in the first photo, to having trouble managing bright and aggressive colors, it just wasn't the performance I expected from Samsung's flagship when we normally see better. On top of this, Apple's flagship performed better than expected, as the focus was generally on point even when the Galaxy's wasn't. While the Nothing Phone One's photos were decent, they weren't on the same level as the footage was often darker than needed which did cause some loss of detail. Ultra wide photos didn't look how I wanted them to look, which is honestly expected at night, but what surprised me was that I just couldn't choose a winner between the iPhone and the Galaxy in photos, so no surprises when Apple just outperforms during videos with adequate sharpness, lighting, and focus. You can pause the videos at any point you want and then take a long and hard look at my face, along with the tiles on the ground. Everything is just portrayed better than the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and it's honestly getting to be quite the long way to see a phone that is able to shoot videos consistently at this quality. I have no doubts about giving the iPhone the gold medal for night simply because their photos have also improved considerably compared to our last comparisons. The Galaxy will be following close by as a nothing phone takes third. Well then, this was honestly one of our most detailed comparisons by far. We wanted to see the Nothing Phone 1 in action against the big dogs to see how well their founder carried over the flagship killer mentality that OnePlus had when he was first working with them. For now, things don't look too appealing, but we should remember that this is a very new phone and there will be a ton of software updates in the next few months to fix all the small issues. The winner of this comparison is Apple's very own iPhone 13 Pro Max with 29 points, with Samsung's Galaxy S22 Ultra falling 1 point short at 28 points. The Nothing Phone 1 put up a fight and managed to collect 15 points, and we hope Hope that they can get more points in the future. Leave a comment on what you think of the Nothing Phone 1 and this comparison and a like along with a sub would be appreciated. See you guys in the next video.